In this segment, what we're going to do is we're going to continue in our progress of how to shoot uh, how-to videos and DVDs. But what we're going to do first, before we actually set some equipment up, is we're going to talk about the planning process. And the planning process is very important when it comes to deciding what equipment you need, how you're going to shoot, what your set should look like, and also marketing. Because the decisions you make before you shoot have, have an impact on uh, how easily and how well you're going to be able to market your DVD on the other end. And generally the planning process starts with the title of your DVD. What are you going to call your DVD? Now when you think of the title of your DVD, think about how search engines and Amazon and eBay and Google work. Because the chances are somebody who's interested in whatever the topic of your DVD is, is going to go there and type in a couple of key words. And what you want is you want your DVD to be found quickly when they type in those key words. And the way to do that is to include whatever those key words are, into the title of your DVD. Leave out the words that don't need to be there, but include words that they're likely to look for. And Tim's DVD is a good example. Tim's DVD on the Blackberry has the word Blackberry in the title. So when someone searches for Blackberry video or Blackberry DVD, they're going to find his DVD. So from the very, very first point, before you even produce the DVD, think about the title. How will the title look on Amazon? How will the title look on eBay. One of the mistakes that I made on this one is producing how-to DVDs for profit is that people tend to look for the phrase how-to videos. And if they search Amazon for how-to DVDs, they'll find this, but if they search for how-to videos, they might not necessarily find this topic. So if I were going to redo this video, I would change the title to producing how-to videos and DVDs, which would get me both on the title. So when you think about that, think about the title first. Now once you have the title down, think about what, it's going, what you want to include in that video and how you're going to market that video when it's done. Now, Generally when you market a video, the video uh, advertising or promotion piece will include a bullet point list of this video covers. And in fact if you look on the back of my DVDs, of all our DVDs, it says this DVD includes. And you should write a list of the elements that a person will want to know about that topic. And generally, you want to begin with the first thing that they need to know and build chapters of information as they go through the video. Now, chapters is another concept that when we produce videos, we produce videos in chapters. Most people's attention span when it comes to videos is about five or six minutes, and then they want a break. We learn that from watching TV. We watch, no matter what you watch on TV, you're going to see five or six minutes of TV show and then a two-minute break, which is commercials. And when people watch your video, uh, subconsciously they're going to look for a break every four or five minutes. So when I produce videos, I shoot it in chapters. Chapter one is generally introduction. Chapter two is getting started. Chapter three is whatever there. But each chapter runs four or five minutes and each chapter will have a 20 or 30 second break between it. And the thing is, is those chapters are also the bullet points in my marketing. So when I start thinking about the DVD, I actually write an outline script of the bullet points I want to cover in the DVD in sequence. And then in those bullet points, they will be the bullet points I use on the back of my DVD. And the other thing that the bullet points will do, the bullet points will share, I'm going to show something on the computer here. This is a, the typical menu from one of my DVDs. And the DVD the, uh, is really the bullet points that I've written in my outline. Because when I'm thinking about producing the DVD, I'm also thinking about what kind of menu do I want to give the viewers on the DVD. Each one of these is a chapter within the DVD. So before you start your production, think about this. What's the title? What's the topic? And how can I best present that topic in five to six minute clips of information? And when you think about those clips of information, you'll, you'll want between eight and 14, maybe 16, depending how much information you have to cover. But think about this. If you have uh, if each one of your clips is four minutes long and you do 12 of them, you're already 48 minutes into that DVD. If you do 12 clips that are five minutes long, you're 60 minutes. That DVD is going to be 60 minutes long. So you want to make your chapter short and to the point. And again, someone watches this DVD, they can quickly jump down to profit potential. 
But if they're looking at my marketing page for this DVD, it says this DVD covers, and they'll say it covers its subscription website uh, business model, profit potential, startup cost, topic choices. They'll see that these elements are covered by the DVD. And when they put the DVD in, they'll see those same topics covered. So before I shoot this, I know generally what I am going to cover. Now, once I write that down, and I generally start with a, a word processor document, I'll write my, my outline. I generally want 12 chapters, 12 or 14 chapters in the DVD, so I'll write those down. And then the next step is I'm going to go back, I will go back to my word processor, and this is the script outline for that particular DVD. So chapter two was the business model. And what I do with each chapter is I put bullet points that I want to cover in that chapter. I don't write the script word for word, I just put the points that I want to cover in that chapter before I get started. So chapter one, one which on the DVD is actually chapter two, I write the bullet points I want to cover. And here's the profit potential, I put the bullet points I want to cover. What this does, it helps me focus on what I want to say on the DVD. It also helps me decide to build a, a prop list. What things do I want to show when I cover startup cost? Do I want to show things on the screen? Do I want to pull something out of a box? Do I want something on my desk? This is the prop list. So when I start covering this chapter, it's only going to be five or six minutes long. This is what I'm going to cover. Here are the props I need before I start. And I'll scroll down so that you can see how I've done each chapter. Under the basic strategy, choose a good topic. You see these bullet points? Now, one of the things that you'll discover is a lot of people say, oh, I'm worried I won't be able to say enough on DVD or a video. As soon as that camera's turned on, you're going to start talking. And what should be four minutes may turn out to be 20 minutes. And then you've got a problem, because how do you cut something that's 20 minutes down into four minutes that's coherent? So what I try to do is I speak in bullet points. And each chapter builds on what I covered in the previous chapter. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more so that you can see. And you see how everything is in bullet points. Some of these bullet points, at the end of each chapter, I bring up a graphic and restate the bullet points in a graphic. So when I cover them in the chapter, at the end of the chapter, I'll bring them up in a, in a graphic and show it again. So it, it, it makes a really nice, uh, well-flowing DVD with a lot of continuity that reinforces what you're saying. So this is the starting point, is write that script out, have a script outline first, come up, come up with a title first, come up with a starting point, write the script outline, write the bullets within each chapter. If you need a prop list, which you probably want, write a list of props that you need for each chapter. Props are the things you're going to show or display or call on screen while you're talking in that chapter. And figure that it's going to take you probably two or three hours to do this if you know your topic. Now one of the things that I do when I shoot videos, and I think I've got a, I have a whiteboard that I set underneath the monitor, and I'll show you this. Every time I get ready to, write, to do a chapter, I write the bullet points on the whiteboard, put it right underneath the monitor, and I know what I'm going to say, but by having those bullet points there, it reminds me what I'm going to cover in that chapter. So what you, what, by doing chapters, we end up with bullet points in the back of the box, bullet points that work into marketing, short pieces of information, and a menu on the DVD that matches the bullet points. And the other thing is, you know, shooting in chapters, which means I'm shooting four or five minutes at a time, means that I point the camera, I set up, take a deep breath, and go for four minutes, and then stop. I can relax, I can think about what I've shot, I can think about whether I need to shoot it, reshoot it or not, but four minute clips, anybody can sit down and do four minutes. You can sit down and do four minutes on a topic if you know it well. But if I said, well, you're on for 20 minutes, how are you going to talk for 20 minutes coherently without coughing or without you know, breaking out into a sweat or saying something that you don't want to say on video. So shooting in four minute chapters is a lot easier. I'm going to show you a little bit about that video just so that you can get an idea of what a chapter looks like. 